Those old moody pants, it gives you a nine, doesn't it, Craig? <laughs> yeah. Where's the white? Just, <laughs> just give him a ten. I quite like him, though, too. You know what he's going to do. Oh, I love you it. You know he's going to be cheeky. He gives him nine. Mm. <laughs> 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 and Alice joining us now. I mean, congratulations where you are, guys. What a, what a wonderful run so far. How, Blackpool, tell me. Talk to us. What was it like? It was amazing. Like, Blackpool's just so special. It's a different environment, you know, the atmosphere, the grand ballroom. Yeah. I literally walked in, I thought, wow, I could be here every week. It's yeah. just incredible. Absolutely loved it. Everyone's so welcoming as well. Beautiful people, such warm hearts. And at the time of my life, you yeah. know, Paso at Blackpool, it's like a match made in heaven. Well, Paso is so fiery and Ooh. passionate and that's it, it, the acting is such a big part of the routine as well you must be incredibly proud of her Ali. Do you know what every single week I mean I feel like we have outdid ourselves literally with every single dance I mean there, there was some someone tagged us in this uh, photo that says that we are the highest scoring couple in 20 seasons yeah. after nine weeks which is I unbelievable. I can confirm that Incredible. is correct. It is correct. Correct. Thank you very much. Correct. And it's just you know Tasha throws herself into every single dance but you know because every technique of every ballroom and every Latin dance is completely different and how you can learn to the standard that we're doing every week it's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it you know I'm I'm teaching you things that I, I've, I've never taught before unless it was someone that, you know, would then go on and do the dance, the ballroom Latin competitions. Yeah. It's amazing how talented you are at it and how, how much we can, you know, push every single week. So, Isn't it nice to hear that? What a lovely thing to say. I don't know. It's true. It's, it's really so lovely. true. He yeah. always says that my mind's like a Bluetooth. Yes. Like you always say, isn't it? It's like airdrop. Literally, we have an airdrop now on. That's a nice one. Yeah. Wow. Constantly. <laughs> so I mean, look good. at us wearing white. It's so brilliant. Good. Do you think you have got what it takes to make it to the very? Because you've won the glitter ball before, right, Aliash? So do you think you've too got long ago? Lot too, too long. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> done it before. Over a can decade do it ago. Exactly. This guy needs <laughs> it. Over a decade ago. Uh, do you know what? I, I think it's every week. Mm -hmm. We take it week by week. Uh -huh. You can't uh, have a too far of a goal. I feel like the competition is so hard. Everyone is stepping up. It depends a lot on what dances you do each week because, you know, some, some are going to be playing to your strengths, some are not. Uh, but I feel like we need to just pro progress and get better every week. Yeah, and I always say, like, you know, the competition is ourselves. You know, every week, let's push ourselves, challenge ourselves. And I feel like every week's an opportunity. So I really mm. take it in mm. race every opportunity I have, so every week is special. Mm. Alash, I always ask uh, Strictly Pros when they come on the sofa about this, when, when can you tell? Like, can you, like, as in the, your expectations, because you, you never know what, the, what your partner's going to be like. Mm. So you have to, as a pro, you have to manage your expectations at week, you know, the week one or week two. So when can you tell, oh, OK, this is going to be fine, I can really push her? Massively, every single week you, you change, you manage your expectations. Look. Strictly Come Dancing, for me, always has been about the person standing in front of me. It doesn't matter what I want or what I don't want to do, you know what I mean? Like, it's whoever is standing in front of me, how much they want to learn, how much time they want to put into it, it's really up to them. And uh, Yeah, but you know, if someone walks in, you go, OK, I know that they're limited. Yeah, like, well... Know, so I know I can only push them so far. Whereas here, you know you've got, like, a blank canvas, right? It's, it's do... limitless. Do you know what I mean? I think with Tasha, it's absolutely limitless. But then you, you can be clever about it. You can go more into the storytelling. You yeah. can go more into the picking songs that might have more character behind them. You know, there's so many aspects to it. That's why I love... I love coming back and I forgot how much I love creating, mm. picking music, you know, seeing a whole picture and then choreographing to that piece of music. And then, you know, every celebrity is completely different. Yeah. Mm. Every single partner that I've had, I've had 10 now amazing partners and I best, you know, I'm still friends with each and every single one of them. And uh, I love that you can push someone to the point that, you know, I mean, dancing is such a such an obscure thing to learn in front of millions of people. Yeah, and it's, uh, sure. you know, it's it's brilliant. <laughs> and, and, and what you said just there is absolutely right. Like, the fact that you're learning in front of millions of people, but you must have faced challenges that other people didn't face at the same time. Mm. What's been the most difficult thing for you? I think maybe just keeping the energy up throughout everything, right. you know, especially in the studio as well, when you had the band, like for example, the Rambo, the Barbie song, it was so quiet and delicate. It's some songs are quite hard to adjust to, so I really had to go to council, follow your lead. And obviously it's quite tiring as well, especially like Blackpool, for example. It was so, it was literally chaos. Mm -hmm. And I just felt so overwhelmed. At the end of the day, I literally slept for 24 hours on Sunday. I was just exhausted yeah. from reading and you know, all sorts. But 
you know, like I said, I've grown up with it. I know how to deal with it. So if anything, I see it as, you know, my gift, I always say. So yeah. I use it as my superpower. Just in terms of context, is it the quieter sounds that you struggle with or if it's it, the wall of noise, what, what's the hardest? The quieter sounds, yeah. yeah. So, for example, the Barbie song with Billie Eilish and the start of it was literally piano mm. and just her voice and that was it. I rely on, like, bass, drums, loud, loud beats. That's what I really rely on. Yeah. So yeah. when it came to it, I was like, oh, it was quite tricky. But eventually, we got there, there in the end. So. Mm. But I think that's what people admire so much about you as well. When, when you watch, you accomplish so much. You, you can't help but be filled with admiration for what you're doing. It's, Thank you. It's so, did they bling up your implant? Yes, yeah, so every week I give them my skins, like cochlear implant skins, yeah. and they literally have the best amazing diamantes and they always gla glam it up for me. And I think it's so lovely because I've got so many people messaging saying, because of you, I've also decorated my really? cochlear implant, my hair and eyes. So such a positive impact, especially with Chris as well. It's amazing to be a part of such amazing cast this year, I think mm. it's just so diverse, inclusive, it's amazing, it's beautiful. Mm. Be careful what you wish for, you're, you're going to really miss that when you go, aren't you? Like, like, I know. You might have to take it like... with you. Yeah, you might I might just give them loads, just take them all home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a signature. And within your community as well, you must have received so many positive letters and emails and texts. Yes, I've had so much. You know, Blackpool had cards, like beautiful messages in the cards and saying, no, thank you, because I've seen you on Strictly. It's giving me confidence to wear my hair up. Little things like that. It's just, just makes it all worth it, you know? It makes me feel like I'm doing my purpose and that's what I'm really passionate about. So if I can put cool. a smile on somebody else's face for a day, then I feel like I've done my job. So. You hear it so many times, and it's like, it's about the little girl or boy at yes. home just going, well, I need to see what I am on television. So the mm. fact that you're doing it, that people, you know, little kids at home are going, well, that's, you just normalise everything, and that's so important. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about the Sambathon this Ooh. weekend? Because that's it's, horrific. It's one that, thing... That, yeah, it does. Well, yeah, because there's one thing to practise yourselves as a couple, and there's mm. two of you, and you've got each other, and you look at and you, you know that. Yeah. But to suddenly throw everybody on the floor... I'm intrigued. Doing the sam it's because you've got to be so is that what it is? Like aware. A, is that yeah. all in wrestling or something? <laughs> <laughs> a bit like that, but not like that at all, really. It's a, it's a samba, it's a, it's, a, it's a Latin dance that moves a, r a lot around the floor. Uh -huh. So I think for that reason, it's going to be <laughs> difficult. It's going to be messy. It's all about the floor craft. <laughs> and normally that's what we would do when I was growing up in the Borum Latin competitions. You're never on, on your own on the floor. And uh, it's going to be interesting because in ballroom dances, we are very close, so you can, it's easily being led around the floor or following around the floor. But in Latin, when you're not sort of, you know, having that much connection, I think it's going to be... It's going to be, be like a bumper car. It's yeah. going to be like a pinball machine in rehearsal. The closest thing I can compare it to is a conga. Is it like a conga? Mm, no, because uh, you, no, you hold on more. On, it's yeah. more like... <laughs> More like yeah. bumper cars, I'd say, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm sure by, the, by sounds Saturday, awful, man. By sounds Saturday so... it'll be great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. He's taking the lead, so we we'll have to follow him yeah. wherever we go. Oh He'll wow, pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Keep going. Thank you. You'll be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Let's for coming on the show. Give him a ten, Craig. Yeah, for goodness' sake, otherwise we'll come and <laughs> kick you in the shins. What's the, what's the point? We right? didn't say that. No, we, we didn't did. say that. They didn't say that. <laughs> we did. We this did. motley crew here. <laughs> uh, and Strictly Come Dancing continues on BBC One and iPlayer on Saturday at seven. No, thank you for visiting our this morning YouTube channel. We upload new content every day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the morning.